and uh, you know maybe a little bit of technical all sorts of it's kind of you know it bounces backwards and forwards between golf causing the emotions or the emotions causing the golf Stuart Appleby a very aggressive play from the left side of the fairway look at the runoff to the right of our picture 250 for the player 750 for the charity and a hundred dollars to everyone here at the 18th this a moment ago Stuart Appleby for birdie at the seventh and he is soaring up that leaderboard today and the hot round belongs to Appleby trying to maintain that though with a par putt all right five under through eight holes and a lot of threes on that card. That's looking it's a little same. familiar, doesn't exactly it? Exactly the same. One four and the rest <laughs> three is incredible. Of DA points front side <laughs> yesterday. A points four on the card was on the on second. On the second, ball. exactly. This is Stuart Appleby, his second shot. Just 113 yards for this. Oh, and that's a kick in. Oh, Stuart Appleby will move to minus 17 with that tap in and only one shot behind Jeff Overton. Now this is uh, for 28. The front nine is 34 par here. So this is for 28 and eight threes in a row for Stuart Appleby. Pretty heady stuff. 17 under par now. One shot behind Jeff Overton. Stewie's probably been, have to have been the, the most patient out there because he's had every single time, literally every green. I think he's missed three greens so far this week. See if he can knock one in here close and keep the little three string going. This would be nine in a row. Crazy. Best position yeah. is actually past the flag. Yeah, that will spin. Hard, well, that's right? the end of his threes. He already <laughs> given up on the putt. No, I've given up. <laughs> you know, just uh, talking about practice swings, I, uh, I never like to give the ball any idea of what was about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make something completely different and then sneak up on it. It'll be a par for Stewart. Let's go to 11. And Stewart have to be on the tee here of the long par four. Got the driver. Just missed the tree on the left side of the dog legs. Just a slight dog leg left. Oh, and he does that beautifully. Boy, the fairway narrows in quite a lot there as well. That's a beautiful drive. Which would have may have left him in tears. Let's go to 11. Oh, good cut at that one for Stewart Appleby from a perfect position. Hold back right. Just a yard or two too far. And a tricky little chip here for Stuart Appleby. He's a good chipper normally. Open face lob wedge. Oh, delightful. Beautiful touch there. Over to 11. Stuart Appleby to keep the momentum going. Banged it in the back. Let's go over to 12. All right, Stuart Appleby on the par five. 2-5 pars on this side here at the 12th and the 17th. Oh, there's OB down there. That's, that's not a problem. Yeah, it's just turning in. Yeah, he cut that corner, didn't he, Nick? Oh, that's his original position perched on that little ridge. And a great hole location right in the front left corner. And that is a oh, peak. Oh, Stay easy. There. Just hang on. There's a little bit of a false edge. No, that's fine. That will... Eagle putt coming up. Wow, Stuart Appleby is, you know, approaching, I almost hate to say it, though, but the putting into the discussion, <laughs> the 5-9 yeah. well, then, talk. Then don't. <laughs> I didn't say it, did I? <laughs> Over 12. Now the eagle putt that would give Appleby the lead by one. Well, this is a... Uh, could be an amazing moment. Stay on line. Oh, yes. Three perfect strikes. <laughs> and Appleby now eight under through 12 holes today. And a very serious face. I'm cheering him on this week. Let's go to 13. Tee shot of our co-leader, Stuart Appleby, on its way. 474 yard par four called the Alps. That'll be okay. The mound there representing the Alps. Of course, that's the famous hole number 17 at Presswick. And another absolutely brilliant shot by Stuart Appleby. To the tee at the 14th. And just a three wood for Stuart Appleby. This hole called narrows because it narrows in down there at the driving distance. A lot of players taking a three wood for accuracy. And that's perfect. 
After a perfect drive, Stuart Appleby, a good chance. He's been playing these iron shots beautifully. Just a full sand wedge from 119. Hole location here way back in the back right corner. And that is nicely done. He's been holding them today though. Another one slides by. That was a good stroke. 15 Appleby. I think this is a great hole location. Just on the front corners, a false front in between the two bunkers. Oh, take that one. The next cup rankings. Pretty try Apple B. Oh no, right in the jaws again. Well, needs to ready the last three for 59. We've had this watch for the this is the third time we've had this watch this week. <laughs> yeah. We're in two days. Now over here at 16, the Cape Hole. Very important tee shot for Stuart Appleby. A little bit soft. And asking for the soft conditions to stop it in the fairway, and his request is accepted. Oh, nicely done. Asking for it to stay in the air. He has that putt at 16 to move to nine under. Oh, that. Give the assist to Jimmy Walker. Give the birdie to Stuart Appleby. He moves into a tie at 20 under par with Jeff Overton. And he is nine under par for the day. It's the toughest drive on the golf course, though, Ian. It is, Nick. There's a big bunker up there in the center of the fairway. Water all the way up the right. Oh, uh, he's found it. He's under the lip. Well, he'll lay up from there and then leave himself with a full sand wedge for his third. So it's still a birdie opportunity. Lay it up into a good position. Still make a birdie. Just position in between the bunkers. Yeah. Well done. Good wise play there from Stuart Appleby. Well, there's nothing to scare you. Just get it there. Clean contact. Oh yeah. That's a good place to putt from. Yes. And the crowds here have gone wild. Fantastic crowds here this week. Appleby the leader at the final hole of par three. Birdie for 59. 68, eight times. Oh, was a Good release, wasn't it? He needs a full rip to get it there. Right on line. Oh, what a shot. Oh, we got a little putt here. There's also a little tournament on the line here as well. This would be for a two shot lead, but this for the big chunk of history. Here he goes. He's done it. You have just witnessed the fifth 59 in the history of the PGA Tour. 59 knocks it in from 10 feet, 10 inches. Scott Saganak, his caddy, big part of this day too. They lead by one, the 59s in the books at the Greenbrier.